4.23 a.m. And instead of being in my nice warm bed, dreaming, I am stalking Chester, my water ball. Dreamers. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my tuxedo urchin, which is this cute little fuzzy water ball right here. I don't know if you can see it. He's like my little water Pokemon. Uh, they get about three inches max, and they eat algae. You can supplement their diet with dried seaweed, which he's eating right now. I think he ate it all, actually. He's greedy. And they'll clean your live rock, and eat all the algae off you know, your glass. They're fantastic, and a lot of people say good things about them. Personally, I cannot have you know a proper cleanup crew because I house uh, an eel, a puffer, and a lionfish. And I had this little hermit crab once that was like a little test crab, and I put him in my aquarium. And within 30 minutes, one of my fish, I don't know who did it, one of them just decided to pull him out of the shell and leave him there to die. <laughs> that was mean, but they did that. And I used to have clams in my tank. Not that they're a cleanup crew, but I used to have a clam in my tank and at the time I had starfish and they, they killed the clam. <laughs> That's in a, a previous video. Which I will put in a card if you want to see it. So yeah, I can't have a proper cleanup crew. They'll eat shrimp too. <laughs> so this little guy, he's like my last resort to keep my, my tank clean. It's not really you know that dirty, but it's nice to have a cleanup crew to help you. And he's, they, you know, they're very interesting. And they have like this alien mouth. They have like these little teeth that's great. And they're like, like this. It looks like something out of some type of science fiction horror movie. <laughs> but they're really cool. And I can't wait to show you the footage. It's not very interesting because they do absolutely nothing. But I am in awe of this little water ball. <laughs> right, so. Let's get into the video. All right, so I'm gonna share the anatomy of Chester. <laughs> I get some lighting, okay. A little dark hole with the white is the mouth. And at the opposite end, at the very top, is his buttocks. <laughs> and he's wearing a shell on his butt. He has have little teeth, like little scraper teeth. It looks very alienish. But I can't see. I think he's got his mouth closed right now. Look at what he's done to my rock. He started up here and cleaned that part. Then his trail went up here, all that white spots. 
is where he cleaned my rock. And then he came back here. Then he reached the top of the summit and cleaned that part. It is now currently 4.46 a.m. and it's past my bedtime. I'm so tired, but I cannot move from this spot. My eyes are glued to my aquarium. My finger is frozen and I cannot press stop on my camera. My body is stuck in place because <laughs> I keep wanting to watch my water ball. Even though it's doing absolutely nothing but staring at that seaweed. <laughs> Why can't I move? I want to go to bed. Help. Help. So that's it for this video. Again, there's not much to these little water balls. They do nothing spectacular, but I just can't stop staring at them. <laughs> I'm like in total amazement of this little guy. I just want to okay, pick him up and just kiss him, but I don't want to get poked. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. And I will see you in the next video. And I hope you enjoyed the little clips of my water ball doing nothing. Oh, I named him Chester. If you ever play the game Don't Starve, it was on Steam originally and it's also on PS4 and I think some other consoles. Um, there's this little, it's an item box and it follows you and his name is Chester and you can store items inside his mouth. For some reason, he reminds me of Chester. So that's why I named him. <laughs> I'll start a picture so you know what I'm talking about. Alright, so that is it. And I will see you in the next video. And remember that fish are friends and not food. So please don't eat them. You can, but I don't want you. Save them. <laughs>